Hey there, quick video for today. I'm going to show you guys how to use remote desktop within your system. This can apply to many different services of Windows. Uh, you got Windows Server 2022, I believe there's 2018, 2019, uh, Windows 10, 7, 8.1, whatever it may be. First thing we're going to do is uh, out here in our Server 2022 install, we're going to search up remote desktop. And you should see remote desktop settings. Now if we go here, we want to also go find it ourselves. It will be under the systems area. So right here, scroll down to remote desktop and enable it. It'll ask you to confirm it. You can choose to keep your PC awake for connections. So it will always be on, never go into sleep mode. Uh, if remote desktop is on, allowing you like if you're on a desktop to always connect when you're away from home. And then you can make it discoverable as well on your network if you want other devices to be able to connect to it, um, or at least have it show up in a list. Now, the one thing we also want to confirm, or two things technically, is one, the user account we're going to use, and then two, the IP address of the system. This will only be for local connections to start out with. So if we start out, we have select users that can remotely access this PC. Now, because we are signing as administrator, we're already there, but if we wanted to, we can add in whatever user we have here. If we wanted to add a new user, maybe allow them to remote to the system, whatever it may be. So since admin already has access, we're gonna leave that alone. And the second thing we're going to confirm, we go under network and internet settings, adapter options, and our ethernet adapter or primary adapter, whatever it may be, details, and we'll want that IPv4 address right here. You can use your IPv6, but I do have IPv6 disabled on this network, so we don't have it. But using these parameters, you can now go into our system. Oh, that is the wrong window. So as you can see here, we do currently have it defined at 10.0.0.62 with RDP. I'm not sure why it's showing 2009, but we'll accept that certificate. It'll kick us out here and it'll allow us here to do dynamic scaling. Now we have remote desktop access of the system. We can basically do everything we were doing over here, right in this window. Now, because we have dynamic scaling enabled as well, the resolution will change as we move the window around, just like that. Now, one last thing to note as well is if you wanna access your system remotely through the internet, this will require the opening of the port 3389. Now, if we head over here, Google, uh, open port checker. This one right here I like to use. And if we use 3389, check it. The port is closed. Now, since we are at address 10.0.0.62, we went and scanned port 3389 locally. It is open. And so if we want to now port forward that, we can then do so through the port forwarding in the security section of our UDM. Create a new entry and then remove desktop. We'll allow it on WAN since that's the only interface we have active right now from any port 3389 forward IP. So our LAN address IP, which is 10.0.0.62 of the server hosting remote desktop. Once again, port 3389. And because uh, remote desktop from Microsoft does use TCP and UDP, we'll be selecting both for this one. If you'd like as well, you can choose to log those and then come back at it if maybe you need to check connection logs, who connected to the system, when, things like that. For this demonstration, we'll just keep it unchecked and add entry. And now, if we run it again. There we go. So, took a little bit of an update, but now we can access this system remotely from our WAN IP address using the port 3389. Now, one last note I did want to add is keep in mind that you probably should keep your remote desktop behind some sort of VPN, either dialing into your network through something like TailScale before you reach your remote desktop node or maybe IPsec, L2TP, whatever it may be. The reason for this being that there are many scanners on the internet out here. As you can see here, I'm in Shodan. There's about 800,000 uh, remote desktop systems that have been detected. Now, this could be from multiple different IP addresses. Maybe one node has three different IPs for some reason. Whatever it may be, the point being that your node 
when it is exposed with port 3389 or remote desktop, it will be scanned. There will be people attempting to try and hack in. And if you are not up to date with your vulnerabilities, with your update packages, whatever it may be, next thing you know, you may find out that your system got ransomware. So I encourage high security, uh, whether it's secure passwords, uh, closing ports that you don't need to expose, things like that. Uh, just play it safe and uh, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So if you guys got any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.